I was raised by a mother uh, who was responsible for three kids. And my mother, they had no clue about the money. And I know how difficult the money can be for most of us. Uh, this is uh, due to us being stuck with the information, uh, which is uh, completely, completely false. The simplicity of economics is amazing and not as complicated uh, as universities, schools, and books make it look like. To create financial freedom, uh, you need lots of money. And here are the few tips that will help you to simplify the idea of the economics. And uh, also you can uh, shape it so it becomes not a reason to fail, but a reason to succeed. Uh, number one, people have a money, uh, money is a shortage mindset. Most people struggling with money think that it's a shortage of money. The reality is uh, the money is plentiful and even when there are shortages we print more. The governments are going to print more, always. This isn't some ester uh, es esoteric new age, uh, new age concept. This is reality. This is reality. Number two. People do spend money to get and don't spend money to consume. Put everything on a credit card or write a check so you have a complete record of every expenditure you make every single month. Then look at them and notice how many are expenditures to consume rather to grow your income. You will uh, see liabilities, you will see the asset, and you may be thinking to yourself, shit. I do spend uh, wasting so much money on the things I don't need. Let's do something about that. And I'm not talking just about this, uh, basic expenses. I'm talking about getting that girl you like to the restaurant right now when you're broke, which does cost you around a couple hundred bucks, right? A month, maybe every single couple of weeks. Extra. Extra. And you may fail, right, in a relationship. It's too young, too young if you are young. Number three, rate your expenditures. Take the last 60 days and rate all your spending on a scale from 1 to 5. 5 being the most important, and anything not rated uh, a 3 or higher should be stopped immediately, should be eliminated. Number four, focus on a financial plan, not a budget. People do spend most of their time budgeting their money, depends, rather than concentrating on a plan or plans to create finances to make more money. Uh, for example, for me, I do spend 90% of my time looking at ways to create more income and how to invest and grow the money I couldn't currently have and only 10% of my income anywhere else. Number five, all debt is not a bad debt. Debt that produces income, residual income or builds your value is a good debt. Contrary to what financial fundings like Dame Ramsey right, and Sue Orman suggest, they say all debt is bad. It's not. Debt that is paid off by the others or debt that actually generates income with this good debt. It is probably safe to assume all other debt is bad. House, uh, credit card debts, cars, Whew, get out, get out of my life. Uh, creating emergency accounts. Add to your financial planning the creation of emergency accounts to, uh, to take you through difficult periods. They do happen, shit does happen. For everyone, every time. This should be funding for at least two to three years without you needing to go to work uh, desperately. Seven, pay yourself first. When it comes to the money, uh, pay yourself first. Before you pay the house payment, fund your savings and emergency accounts first. Almost everyone I, uh, I have ever met makes the same mistake over and over again. 
if you can figure out how to pay someone you don't know at Netflix, then simply add yourself to the list and pay yourself first. Send yourself an invoice each month until you get it into the habit of paying yourself first. Make yourself a subscription model. Then your name, but what, what do you want to pay? 25 every month. Well, put more, more. Number eight, sacred investment accounts. At the age of 25 years, uh, many people have completely nothing. And some people do have a lot. Some people do have already three investment accounts and more. Um, and uh, what many people don't invest money, their money at all till we are 60, 70. All we do is we rely on their uh, pension accounts. And what is pension? What is next? 65, 67? Ah, you may not even come to that time. It's too late. Uh, fund yourself. Fund, invest, create income. Number nine, correct income formula. To calculate the real income, you need to take your monthly desired savings plus emergency funding plus investment funds plus current spending. Most people simply calculate their income based on their expenses. This can be a bit overwhelming at first, but it will give you a real idea that you need to get busy connecting with your income. Uh, calculation for the real income formula is going to be uh, included in a comment section. So what you can do is just copy and that face in your computer so you can have it in front of you whenever you need it. Number 10, pay attention. Once a week on a, uh, on a set day, I sit down uh, and I think and I talk about my finances. Where are we going? Is it going better right now? Am I increasing or do I make right now less than I was making one week ago? Did my expenses did increase? On uh, or decrease, did they create value, or did they create for me just a little bit more comfort, which I don't need right now? And uh, paying attention to your finances does so that you demonstrate the importance of having control over your finances. There are so many people in this world who come from nothing and figured figured out how to get the money right. Each of those steps about when put together will force you uh, into one reality. Increase your income. The freedom is a game of offense, not a defense. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on our side. Bye.